Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to do the VPN root leaking between the two different VPNs. So look at this topology, we have VH1 and VH2, VH1 have VPN 10 and VH2 also have VPN 10. By default uh, between the same VPN the routes uh, will be advertised between them and IP communication will be happening bidirectionally. And if you see in VH2 I have uh, VPN 20, so by default uh, the IP reachability between this VPN 10 and VPN 20 will not happen because the VPN number is not matching. So now in this video we will show uh, how to make that communication happen between the VPN 10 and VPN 20. So this is my VH1 CLI. I am just giving show IP route and then VPN 10. So you can see I am receiving the routes from uh, this VH2 that is 20.20.1 under VPN 10, 172.168.10.0. I don't receive any other uh, routes from uh, you know my uh, VH2. So this is my VH2 20.20.1. So I will be able to ping and uh, we also confirm that we don't have anything under VPN 20. So VPN 20 is not configured that's why we are getting this error. And uh, I should be able to ping this IP 172.168 dot 10 dot 1 using the VPN 10. So now under uh, VPN uh, 20 I have this IP uh, 22 dot 20 dot 20 dot 1 that we will try to ping using VPN 10. Ping 22 dot 20 dot 20 dot 1 using the VPN 10 if you ping this ping will not work because it's in the different VPN. So same thing, we check on the VH2 also, show IP route VPN 10. So from uh, your uh, VH1, that is 10.10.1, I am receiving this IP 192.168.10.1 IP, that is 192.168.10.1 IP. So I should be able to ping using my VPN 10. So this is my VPN 10. And I will try to ping using VPN 20 and uh, the ping fails. So now we will configure a policy to leak the route between this VPN 10 and 20. So I'm going under configuration policies. So I'm going to click on add policy. So first we need to create the group of interest. I'm clicking on VPN. So for VPN 10 I already have an entry. I'm going to create a new list for VPN 20. That is VPN 20 FN list I gave. This is only for one VPN, so I'm just simply giving 20 and click on add. And sites, uh, we already have one site for VH1 with site ID 11 and VH2 site ID 12. So, the, so we need the VPN and the site list for this uh, policy. Going to nest, click on add topology, custom control. I'm going to name it. Uh, Root leak one. So click on sequence type, click on root, then add a sequence rule. So we need uh, the VPN and select the VPN. I'm selecting the VPN 10 and uh, click on the action accept. So now he here you can see the option S port 2. Click on S port 2. And here click on VPN 20. So that is I'm exporting the routes from VPN from VPN 10 to VPN 2. So sorry 20, and then mm -hmm. save match in action. So we need to add one more sequence rule matching the VPN 20 and uh, set the action accept export to VPN 10. So we have one rule from 10 to 20 and another rule from 20 to 10. And default action will be reject. We have to make it uh, accept. Save match and action. So we have 10 to 20, 20 to 10 and then default action accept. Now save the control policy. And then next. So we are, we are doing anything. Again click on next. So this is our actual policy name. I'm going to just give root leak 
10 to 20. So we have to click on the new site list and uh, here we have to select on the uh, inbound site list and then select this sites that is this, this we are doing between the VH1 and VH2 so I'm selecting VH1 and VH2. So click on add. So in the inbound direction VH1 and VH2 I have added. Let's quickly preview this. So this is the policy root link 1 matching the VPN 10 and then exporting it to VPN 20 and another one matching the VPN 20 and exporting it to VPN 10. These are all lists that we have already and uh, this is getting applied to VH2 in inbound direction and VH1 in inbound direction. So I'm going to save this policy. Okay, so here is our uh, root link policy. Let me initiate a ping and see after we apply, you know, immediately it is working. So I'm initiating a ping from, uh, that is from VH1 and uh, from VPN 10, I'm uh, initiating a ping towards 22.20.20.1 uh, that is in VPN 20. So I'll keep it running continue. Right now it is not going. The ping is failing now. So I'm going to activate this now. Once it gets activated, uh, the ping will get uh, resolved. Okay, you can see now it is uh, ping is working actually because it is uh, applied. So now from VH1 uh, VPN 10, we are able to reach the IP in VH2 uh, which is under VPN 20. So this 22.20.20.1 .20 .20 that is in VPN 20. Now check uh, the reverse direction also. So earlier when you initiated the ping that is 192.168.10.1 that is in VH1 under VPN 10 when I initiate the ping from VPN 20 it was failing so now it should work. So that's the procedure how you uh, link the route between the VPNs in Cisco SD-WAN. Also I want to show you one more thing if you remember uh, initially when we entered uh, show IP route, we don't see that IP 22.20.1 under uh, show IP route VPN 10. So after we enable this route linking policy, when I give show IP route VPN 10, you can see this IP 22.20.20.0/24 coming from our VH2. It's coming under the VPN 10. So it's basically coming from VH2 and from uh, your VPN 20, but you can see it under our routing table in our VH1 it is uh, installed under the VPN 10 coming from VH2. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share with your friends.